Hello everybody, I am Arturo Romero Contreras um, from Mexico, Puebla. So, um, there is, uh, at first hand, there is nothing much to say, just that the virus, when we woke up, the virus was there and the, the day after we started uh, falling uh, sick and then we started dying and flooding the hospitals and really rolling uh, into a state of emergency. But what, what, I, what I want to call our attention to is to the fact that the world stopped and that's precisely what we couldn't do in decades of political and social struggle. What do, what do I mean? Uh, there's a phrase, uh, it's a quotation from Walter Benjamin saying that what we really need is to activate the break. We don't need... His idea, he wrote the beginnings of the 20th century, he said our idea is not to go faster and faster and find another solution and find and create new machines. No, stop! Stop for a moment! And that's precisely what happened with coronavirus. We, had, we were forced to stop. Of course, that's not the ideal way, but there are no ideal manners in history. It just happened. And above all, the most important thing is that economy stopped and transatlantic flights and uh, business as usual, you know, normality, normality stopped. And in this very precise moment, economy uh, seems to be at risk. And in that moment, there is some voice from the market saying, hey, wake up. We have to come back to do business as usual. We have to come back to normality. And precisely that's what we do not want. And that's the first point I wanted to underscore. Above all, we have to say, no, we don't want that normality. We don't want to get back to normality because normality was the problem. It's that normality that was jeopardizing the existence of human race on this planet. It was this normality which finished with forests and thousands of millions of trees, uh, uh, the extinction, the massive extinction of, of species. It is that normality which caused the situation in which our healthcare systems are right now, and poverty and concentration of wealth. And that's one of the reasons we cannot deal with the pandemics, and that's maybe and probably one of the reasons uh, the pandemics, uh, because of the pandemics outbreak. So no, we have to say no to normality. So what are we going to come back to if it's not normality? And that's precisely what. Uh, what uh, that's precisely on which I wanted, on which I wanted, I wanted to comment. Um, this, this might be. There are no objective forces telling us that the world is moving uh, beyond any doubt to the end of capitalism and oppression, and a new and a new dawn is waiting for us. But that on the side of the optimistic side, but on the side of the of the cynicist and uh, the pessimistic wing. We cannot say that nothing is going to change, something is going to change. The point is, we don't know if it's going to be for worse. Changes can also be for worse. So right now, the big question is, what are we going to do to assure that something minimal changes so that we can give a small opportunity for justice, for uh, dignity and for another relationship? To nature, and for that, I would just name a threefold approach. Uh, you know, it's something uh, uh, I come up with, uh, like everybody trying to think the situation and try to think of present. The first thing is, well, it's like a threefold uh, approach to the situation. Number one, we need science, we need science, both natural and social, social sciences, if the distinction still holds. Uh, but because that's the way we approach to the facts, not to the ultimate facts beyond any doubt, but some facts, some base, which, is, which are being questioned right now by many. Number two, political engagement. Political is engagement is it's nothing but the name we give to the way in which we organize towards some, uh, some goals, some common goals. And th these should be uh, goals for, of course, uh, uh, taking into account the local, but above all, with, uh, uh, with an international approach. And, and, and the last part is thought, 
thought and reflection. We have to give us the time to think and reflect, uh, reflect about our concepts, how we conceive the world, how we act, under which premises, and how we are reproducing uh, consciously or unconsciously some order which now we are calling into question. So this is, uh, this is my small reflection and I really hope something different will come about from this tragedy. Thank you.